Greetings YouTubers, Atari Leaf here with another classic gaming video. As you see before you, my Tandy Color Computer 3. Uh, and I mentioned in the Dreamcast video yesterday that I had uh, picked up a cable from a company called Cloud9 Tech. The cable is called DriveWire. And what DriveWire does is it allows your PC or your Mac to act as a virtual server for your Coco. So the DriveWire cable already hooked up here is this one right here and it goes into the serial port at the back of the computer now there are a couple of different ways to get the ROM that you need into the computer one is to use a ROM pack that plugs into there I don't have that so I have to go with the older slower method of using the cassette cable which plugs into the line in or line out on the back of your sound card on your computer here so what you do, hold on a second, I'll have to edit this. Okay, let's put that away for a second. That's, that's the drive wire software, that's the server software. So what you need to do is load the, this. Okay, we'll just stop it first. This is a clean installation of Windows XP on this computer uh, because my regular computer does not have a serial port on the back, a nine pin serial port. So there's HDBCC, which is the, the DOS ROM that you need for your Coco 3. So going back over here, we're going to type C-L-O-A-D-M, which is cassette load. Okay. Cassette load and um, I need EXEC so it goes automatically. Okay. Now I'm going to go over here, click play. On started going. Oh, wait, hold on. I did it wrong. Stop. <laughs> Before I do anything, when you type CLOADM EXE, you have to type or hit enter. If the S starts, so it's ready to go. Now I can click play on here and go back over here, and you can see it's loading. So this will take about a minute or so to load this onto the computer. So one second, I'll just pause it. We don't need to see it. Okay. The As you can see now, it's been loaded and at the top now it says Disk Extended Color Basic. So now the PC is acting like a disk system for the color computer. Okay. So again, we're going back over here and we're going to load the drive wire software. Okay. And I've already got a disk in there. Games Disk 12. Com is set. Okay, this is from the drop-down list, so you select COM1, which is your serial port. And then you see in Drive Zero is a, game, a disk called Games Disk, Games12.dsk. If you can see that. Okay, so that's loaded on here. Now if you just type DIR, oops, boo boo, DIR for the disk directory, there you'll see different games on here. For example, Caterpillar. Uh, how about Galagon? I'll load that one because uh, just for fun, because I didn't know this was on here, but uh, Steve Benway just did a video on Galagon for the Dragon, so here we are loading Galagon for the Coco. EXEC to execute the program. And there's Galaga. So you see, even though I don't have a disk system, I wonder if I can play this without a uh, joystick plugged in. I think I do need a... Hold on, one second. No, nope, never mind. Anyway, there's Galagon, a Galaga clone for the Tandy Color computer. Loaded through DriveWire. Uh, a great little solution if you have a Tandy Color computer and you don't have a disk drive. Uh, all these disk images were found on the internet. There, there's dozens and dozens and dozens of them. Pretty much every game for the Coco can be found on the internet in this disk image format which DriveWire uses. So, great uh, cable. It was uh, $10 in shipping from Cloud9 Tech. Highly recommended pro a product if you uh, need a disk solution for your color computer. Okay, thanks everybody and have yourselves a great day.